you're watching the 360 sponsored by our friends at Westerly yep. Mini. Welcome to St James Park for the return of the Devon Derby, the first clash here since the 16-17 season. It's a wet afternoon but I'm sure that won't affect your enjoyment of the match. Enjoy the footage looking back on an afternoon at the park. standing terrace in the Football League is alive today they're eagerly anticipating this Devon derby they want it to go red come uh, three o'clock today and as we prepare for kickoff the Big Bank is in great voice Joel Grant gets us underway And he should have done better there, Ryan Bowman.
Here come Argyle now, in the form of Cooper, give it to Grant, that's a clever ball inside now for Sarsovic, first time shot, save. and Johnny Maxson had to do well there to fall on that one because that was a good chance there, Sean. the city wall here comes Riley gets it through the wall and it's a good sprawling save at his right hand post by Johnny Maxted who fortunately had quite a good look at that one you would think Steve yeah definitely it, it went through the wall but to be fair it was safe a great run from Lee Martin here on the on the counter attack again it's another ball, ball in the box yeah quick break by City lovely play by Williams now Nicky Lawrence a reverse ball Lee Martin with the shot and he slashed that a long way wide let's get the full foul inside the area and a penalty Lee Martin hauled down that's a decision from the referee I know it's on the wrong side but uh, Tom Harris Plymouth of course moved away soon after here comes Law and he scores straight down the middle Alex Palmer drives to his right hand side just before half time Exeter City had their reward it's Exeter City 1 Plymouth Argyle nil. Sean well let's come just from uh, as I just said earlier on Exeter City had to give him credit as I said they're pressing the ball who was it that pressed the back four was Nicky Law and Lee Martin it's, it was a soft penalty yes but they've caused them into, into a tackle was it a penalty for me it wasn't the referee's ten yards away he's given it but you've got to give credit to Exeter City for closing Argyle down and making them make mistakes Time here at St James Park. It is Exeter City one, Plymouth Argyle nil. On the way in the second half, and Williams again hugging the touchline down his right hand side push coming right in front of the referee free kick take by Randall Williams in towards the near post and flicked on and in and City double their advantage in the opening stages of this second half and it's a free header it's a great header as well coming in from Tom Park his first goal in the red and white of Exeter City and City a two to the good Steve Tully what a delivery in from Williams to fair pace power the runs come across it and to fair Park's got there quicker and he wanted it more than the Plymouth players Great start to the second half, 2-0, can't see Plymouth coming back from this. And short just the start to the second half that uh, Argyle weren't hoping for. Taylor, it's a dangerous ball back, Joel Grant's in behind the goalkeeper, and that's a terrific sliding challenge there to deny what would have been an open goal for Joel Grant. particular match certainly hope not anyway Argyle have only got one substitute option left to be made here Nicky Law doing well for City this is terrific stuff at times by City now Amanda Williams has spun the offside trap Williams for three lifts it over the keeper and it is 3-0 to Exeter City and it's a terrific finish from Randall Williams and it's game set and match here for Plymouth Argyle Plymouth Argyle three Ex sorry, Exeter City 3, Plymouth Argyle 0. Sure. Well, they've just absolutely sliced through Plymouth Argyle's defence as if there was nobody there. Some fantastic football by Exeter City. Again, the instrumental playmaker, Nicky Law, had the final pass through to Randall Williams. 
Palmer come out to close him down, tried to stay on his feet and he's just cleverly and coolly clipped it over Palmer's head and it's trickled over the line and he's done an Arab Spring flick back, back somersault right in front of the, the, the Exeter City's bank end. the City on goal difference as it is City are going to go back six points clear of them and just wonder how the uh, two sides will review the last eight days I'll come back to that point in a minute but uh, Exeter City once again knocking on the Argyle door Taylor with a shooting chance and it's hit the inside of the post Nicky Law with a follow up and it is 4-0 it's a wonderful effort from Jake Taylor in the first place so unlucky that that didn't go in but Nicky Law was in the right place at the right time he celebrates in front of the big back and Exeter City are on their way to a famous victory Steve yeah to be fair excellent strike from Jakey Taylor to be fair and who was following up that man again Nicky Law three three Plymouth defenders there stood watching Nicky Law taps it into an empty net fully deserved and this has been embarrassing for a Plymouth fan well, now finally Exeter City are going to make some changes. Not that it's going to make the slightest bit of difference to the outcome of this game, but Nigel Atingana is stripped and will come on for the last few minutes. But Matt Taylor has got this one absolutely right. This Tune to what's going on and what to expect. Lack of communication at the back. Doesn't matter. Referee Darren Drysdale blows his full-time whistle. It's all over here at St James Park. It's a famous win for Exeter City. Uh, Steve Tully, you'll have watched uh, plenty of these fixtures over the years. This must be the best City win that you've witnessed. Yeah, definitely. I think is it three years since they last played? I think. To be fair, the Exeter showed real desire, real commitment. They wanted it more than Plymouth, which, to be fair, for a derby game, must be really disappointing. So, I get. Exeter are faultless, start to finish. After about 30 minutes, they, they, they threw a stamp of them. Even the first half, they create chance after chance and deservedly went in 1 0 via a soft penalty. But second half, they come out firing and they scored second, third, fourth, and not very funny, 4 0s flattered Plymouth. Uh, sure.